Welcome back coders. In an earlier tutorial, we wrote a basic program for driving the robot forward and backward. In this tutorial, we will modify that program to drive the robot in reverse until its bumper hits a wall, at which point it will drive forward for two seconds. To start with, let's move the existing blocks out of the program. Now, let's create a loop to continuously drive the robot in reverse while the bumper is not pressed. We'll define the condition as while the bumper variable has a false value, meaning that the bumper is not pressed. While this condition is false, we want the robot to drive in reverse, so let's drag this group from our original program into the loop. We'll remove the duration as we want the loop to constantly check the state of the bumper. Now let's drag in the forward drive from the original program. When the condition of the loop is no longer true, meaning that the bumper is pressed, the program will move on to this group of blocks to drive the robot forward. Our program is done. Let's test it. The robot reverses. When the bumper is pressed, the robot drives forward. That's it for now. Try to build this program. Modify the program so that the robot performs a series of actions when the bumper is pressed.